look who's back for another great topic about our aquatic friends. Couldn't resist the urge to click the thumbnail and know our latest video's content, huh? I definitely understand the feeling, because we want to meet our very best regarding fish keeping. And we guarantee that every bit of information you need is available at Aquarium Store Depot. I mean, like this topic we have now. It's not about fish, but rather something that significantly impacts their welfare. If you think that this is habitat related, you're right. Because for today's topic, we will discuss every vital fact you need to know about soft corals. So stay tuned to get all the information here at Aquarium Store Depot. Have you ever tried scuba diving? Visiting a local resort near an ocean? Or drown in the sea, perhaps? No, just kidding. Please be safe wherever you are. But if you've experienced the first two, you may have encountered this marvelous thing deep down in the water. An underwater structure known as a coral reef is constructed of calcium carbonate laid down by coral polyps, which are colonies of marine invertebrate organisms. You're getting it wrong if you think that this thing could only be seen in the oceans and seas. Coral reef aquariums are a fantastic way to breathe life and color into your house. In addition to adding curiosity to your reef aquarium, they may highlight the inherent beauty of your fish and other marine species. One of the well-known corals you can keep is the soft corals, which are the main highlight of this video. They're a great addition to any aquarium since they have beautiful colors and provide nutrients for other species. Although these corals may appear simple, they might give unique difficulties for the tank, such as a toadstool coral that hasn't opened in weeks or pulsating xenia that over-reproduces in the aquarium. If done appropriately, they may add as much color and excitement to the aquarium as any other type of more developed coral. Apart from that, you should also know that there are many species of soft corals, and reef tank hobbyists often maintain four fundamental orders. Corallomorpharia, Alcyonacea, Zoanthraea, and Scleractinia. If you want to know more about these four categories, you can visit our website at AquariumStoreDepot.com, where a concise explanation of the difference between these four orders is explained. Now, I know you've all been waiting for the nine best soft coral types from this video. So let's start by introducing the first soft coral on our list, the zoanthids. Both novice and experienced hobbyists enjoy zoanthids. Zoanthid come in a wide range and variety and come in all different colors and patterns. Some zoanthids may fetch hundreds of dollars because of their variety. If they enjoy your tank, zoanthids are pretty easy to care for. Nonetheless, these corals are known for shutting down for weeks for no apparent reason. Because of their potential polytoxin and ability to swiftly outgrow their corals, they may put off some enthusiasts. Otherwise, various zoanthid species may create a stunning zoa garden in the tank's low, mid, and high spots with moderate flow and illumination. Second on our list is the mushroom corals. Although the mushroom coral may not seem fascinating initially, hobbyists particularly like the Recordia species, R. Fla and R. Yuma. In addition to being available in purples, blues, greens, oranges, yellows, and reds, mushroom corals can be hairy, bumpy, or smooth. Because they are among the simplest to frag, mushroom corals are a fantastic choice for novice reefers. Additionally, these corals possess a rare walking propagation technique in which they leave fragments of themselves behind to sprout new mushrooms. Overgrowth may result from their way of reproduction. Toadstool leather is another soft coral you should try purchasing. Some giant corals are toadstool corals, with some species reaching two feet wide. Fortunately, these corals are also relatively simple to frag, which will aid in slowing down fast development. They only come in a few colors, greens, browns, tans, and yellows, but they can have different tentacle lengths. About once a month, these corals systematically shed a tiny covering of their flesh. Although it frequently keeps algae and other detritus off the coral, this might be a sign of stress. Due to this consistent shedding, they thrive best in water flows between moderate and high. Consider buying the green star polyps if you like greenish corals in your tank. Since Green Star Polyps, or GSP, is among the fastest growing soft corals, some hobbyists completely ignore them. Keeping them on a rock island by themselves is strongly advised to stop them from spreading throughout the aquarium. It's also common to see them on the rear of the reef tank to create a wall of shimmering green, or on a glass bottom to create a waving lawn. Many reefers regret adding Green Star Polyps to their tanks as they can take over. They're among the best options for beginning hobbyists, and they're also pretty simple to frag. Going fifth on the list is the Pulsing Xenia. 
The breathtaking beauty of these soft corals will surely make your pole stop a bit. Next to green star polyps, Xenia is one of the most well-liked soft corals. These pale pink and purple corals pulse their polyps without extra water flow, adding great movement to the aquarium. Unfortunately, some Xenia halt or stop ticking after a while for unexplained causes, even if they may otherwise be in perfect condition. Whether or not they cease pulsating, they will keep developing as long as they're kept in low to moderate flow and low to mild illumination. Word of caution, they love to reproduce and have been known to take over entire reef tanks. Kenya tree, as our sixth soft coral, is a vital feature that will lure you into adding them to your tank. The fluffy branches of the Kenya tree corals may fill up much room in the reef aquarium. These corals have a softness that not many other species can match. Despite their drab pink and brown colorations that may make one consider them uninteresting, Kenya tree corals can grow very easily. The new frags of these corals are extremely difficult to remove from the rockwork, which makes them very challenging to control. These corals may reproduce by sending their branches to different tank areas, where they swiftly establish themselves. Our seventh spot will go to the cult corals. Even though they belong to two completely distinct genera, cult corals and Kenya tree corals are strikingly similar and complex to distinguish. But there are a few techniques to differentiate between these two species. In contrast to Kenya tree's heavy, opaque branches, cold corals have broader, more translucent units. Second, when handled, cold corals feel slimmer than Kenya trees and more like a tougher leather coral. Remember, try not to touch your corals too much in order to avoid stressing them out. This eighth coral might sound scary, but it is heavenly. Lay your eyes now on the Devil's Hand. Devil's Hand corals get their name from the way they resemble fingers. Since these corals are a sort of leather coral, like toadstools, they also shed when stressed or need to be cleaned. As a result, they may require more water flow to remove the flaking flesh. Devil's Hand corals have incredibly small tentacles compared to other leather corals, which might give the impression that they're not entirely stretched. And last, but surely will never be least among our options, is the pipe organ. Despite gorgeous, flowery patterns, pipe organs are rarely found in home aquariums. Not your average soft coral, these corals are hard. These soft corals get their musical name from their complex red calcium carbonate skeleton. Its slow-growing skeleton may be free of debris and algae with the correct water flow. They can be more challenging to work with than the other species on this list since they also require readily available calcium and consistent alkalinity to construct their skeleton. And that's the list of the 9 best soft corals in the hobby. However, I bet you have this question. If there's a soft coral, wouldn't there also be hard types of it? Well, the answer is a big yes. In the hobby, we also have hard corals, commonly referred to as SPS, that are members of the Scleractinia order and crucial to forming reefs. They develop substantial calcium carbonate skeletons that contain fleshy polyps of symbiotic zooxanthellae. They belong to the Hexocorallia subclass, and their polyp symmetry may be divided into six halves. These branching attractive reefs that are formed by these skeletons are typical. Fish, invertebrates, bacteria, and other microbes are only a few species living there. On the other hand, the Alcyonacea, Prolomorpharia, and Zoanthario orders are where soft corals are classified in the hobby of keeping aquariums. These corals' polyps are remarkably benign and do not generate complete calcium carbonate skeletons. Sclerites are tiny skeletal structures that some species, including those from the Alcyonacea genus, develop. Their polyp symmetry is divisible by eight, since they are octocorallia. You might be asking another question again. Which soft corals are the simplest to maintain? Honestly, it's all of them. However, there are several choices available for both novice and experienced reefers. The most specific advice is shown on your screen right now. You'll be anxious to add your first coral to the tank if you're a novice aquarium hobbyist just beginning to explore the saltwater side of the hobby. You'll need a lot of patience if you want to succeed at this activity. Soft corals are far more challenging to maintain than marine fish or freshwater plants, while they are tolerant to lower quality water conditions. They require security, access to nutrients, sufficient lighting, and a steady water flow. Rarely do you see new installations with any of them. Since soft corals don't need to be dosed with nutrients, they are excellent beginner corals for many people. Your soft corals should be able to support themselves as long as a trustworthy marine salt mixture is used and nutrients are provided to the tank through fish food, waste, and other debris. 
Soft corals can be added at any time to established aquariums. Finding their ideal location is crucial to keep them separate from other corals. Although most soft corals cannot sting, they may readily outgrow their habitat and smother other species. Well, there we have it, fish keepers. You already know things about soft corals and the types of them which you could purchase for the aesthetic of your tank and the benefit of your lovely fish. If you need more than that and the information we share with you here in this video, you can visit our official website at AquariumStoreDepot.com where you can find much more detailed information about each soft coral type. Also, it would be great if you have a weak heart to like this video and smash the subscribe button to help our community grow. I hope you saw the strength of each soft coral when it comes to your tank setup and its impact on your lovely fish. If you want to ask or share your experience with having one of these incredible corals, go directly to the comment section below. I'll see you when I see you, fish keepers. Thank you for watching.